At the age of 56, our next guest has become an important change agent for women looking to be the best version of themselves at, at any age. With her new book called MG, Marjorie Goodson is on a mission to show the world that life truly begins when many feel like, well, sort of winding down, and she's done it all through dancing. Welcome, Marjorie. Nice to see you. Thank you this so much, Carlos. It's unbelievable. Thank I mean, you. it is Thank an you. absolutely gorgeous book. The photography. Who is that girl? Is, that would, I, I assume that would be you. <laughs> it is me. It is me. Now, it's okay. just hard to believe that I. Uh, all right. So at age 56, that. and, and yes. I said this, winding down, a, a lot of people would say, all right, it's time to just kind of slow down. Absolutely slow not. Slow down, girl. No. Why no. not? Well, because you don't have to. And I think that's the great thing about it is that the body is so resilient, the mind is so resilient. We live in such a great time of, of health and fitness and, and that, um, you know, and doing this book for me was sort of a rejuvenation. My daughter had gone off to college and I said, I don't want to do the empty nest syndrome anymore. And so, well, what can I do? And we were just talking about your wife, who's mm -hmm. a ballerina right. with the knee issues. Well, I've had two knee surgeries <laughs> and I thought, well, you know, the, the performance part of it out is very difficult for ballet but what else can I do? And so yeah. I created this book as a way to sort of get myself out there, but I thought still photography is a good, good <laughs> cheat. You know, you can, you can take a couple of photographs and, and pick the best of well, I, the best Well, there's a lot of very revealing photographs, I must tell you, but they're elegantly done and they're gorgeous. Thank you. And, and your body looks perfect. Oh my God. And so you think, well, of, think. you think about that, yeah. <laughs> so you think about all the work that it takes. Yes. This doesn't just come now. You have to actually work hard at yes, it. Yes, you do. Right? You have to. So what's your routine? My routine is insane. Let's start with that. It's insane. <laughs> sure um, because it I can't sit still. I can't sit still. Um, I train. And we talked about uh, gyrotonic, which uh -huh. is a wonderful thing for spinal That's health. That's that chair with the pulleys the and everything. The chair right? and the thing, and it sort of yeah. pulls you apart, which I love. It's fantastic. And um, and then, of course, I, I dance. I do jazz. I still dance. I do ballet, but only um, just the bar, the exercise uh, part of okay. it. Uh, no performance there. And I create a lot of videos. I love to perform that and I'm working on my second book I'm almost finished with that called MG2 okay and uh, we're working in the layout of that and that's a totally insane direction <laughs> with paint throwing and powder and I uh, call them my dance partners so that's really uh, a different direction for me so what else do you do besides work out all day long? Well, I I know it sounds <laughs> like... Because it sounds like you spend like well, six hours a day. Well, it's and not who really, has that kind of time? I know, right, exactly. <laughs> well, it sounds like I'm working out, but really it's in, you know, in combination with the creating of the books right. and, and creating my, um, again, my videos and all of that just goes back to sort of a more physical artistic approach. Interesting. Yeah. Now you come from an artistic family. Uh, I mentioned the last name Goodson. Everybody who grew up watching those game shows knows yes. uh, Mark Goodson was your father. Thank Tell you. me about growing up in that time and, and experiencing that and, and how that's affected you now. Well, first of all, thank you. Thank you for, for mentioning him. Um, Great memories, by the way, watching all those shows. They're yes, terrific. it yeah. was it was a different time when there were yeah. only four channels. Now right. there's 4,000 channels. Yeah. But, um, you know, for me, de my father was larger than life, you know, and not just because of his success as a producer, but just because of who he was, mm -hmm. his style, his his grace, his humility. I mean, he had a tremendous work ethic, which I think, I like to think that now I've sort of inherited. I think when I was younger, I was, yeah. you know, sort of my head in the clouds kind of thing. <laughs> but, um, you know, having that. And he was just always a tremendous force and very, very generous with his, his um, friends and, um, he was just a tremendous human, you know, very funny, had great stories, great taste. I mean, he was he was incredible, but he was always just and dad. And that's he why you turned out the father. way you did, because well, of all of that. You. I mean, I, I see the grace, that. I see the great sense of humor. Oh, thank you and so much. And I had much. the privilege of meeting him as well, and as I mentioned to you, that that's right. we had had a meeting before. But uh, so, so now you're propelling yourself at, at age 56 and saying, all right, what am I going to do next? Right. I, I can just see the wheels turning in your yes. head. Like, what can you do to, to further this? This that, that you right. started. Well, you know, it's it's so interesting <laughs> to me because when I first started doing this, it was so difficult to sort of jump back into my artistic vision. I never hmm. thought of myself as an artist that can have an impact with others. So to create this book and then to hear people say, "God, this is so inspiring," and yeah. you're yeah. and you're 56, like it's it's not a curse anymore, you know, and this sort of notion that it's over at 50 is really outdated. It's just crap. It's like, just just take it and throw it out. You know, I always say to the, the women that I've met and the younger generation who I think is very 
um, more impressionable because they look at you like, wait, it doesn't have to be over. We don't, we're not going to die at 50. You know, the, the, the train doesn't start to go downhill. And it's like, no, it's it's whatever you want to make it. But think about this. I mean, our grandmothers at 56 oh. look like grandmas. Oh, I'm sorry, but no, I, yes, I, you know, totally. I don't want to say that, but that's true. Right. And you know, my grandmother didn't look like you. Neither, neither did your grandmother right. <laughs> look no, like you. Course. And no. so we're youth, more youthful at our age now sure. than they ever were. And well, I think there's kind of the, the mindset today. Because we're eating better, we're taking better care of ourselves. Right. And I think that is the thing. I think the body is so resilient. Mm -hmm. The mind, the way we talk about spirituality, all of those in combination really create the whole human. Yeah. And um, so, you know, that's sort of a, a byproduct is the book that I'm creating that sort of says, hey, ladies, hey, men, mm -hmm. you know, whatever you want to do, there's no stop. Um, at any age, you know, that's sort of like, I can do this in my 20s, I can do this in my 30s. It really is just the notion of living your life with energy and fulfillment and being the best possible you. Now, is that an easy thing to do? No, it's not. Yeah. That's the difference. It's nothing like worthwhile getting is. off. Nothing worthwhile is, exactly. And so it's like getting off, getting off the chair, feeling, um, even if you're scared to do it, and that's what I'm a big proponent about, is um, I always let my fear block me when I was growing up, my self-doubt. I was sort of riddled with it. Mm. And, um, and so I had to overcome a lot of that. And uh, I always encourage women and uh, the younger generation, particularly now with you know Instagram and all of that, it's very intimidating. All that image thing, yeah. All that image thing, and it's like just get out there, feel good about you, be comfortable in your own skin. Mm -hmm. Don't shoot for perfection, but just jump to the other side because for me, that's where the magic happens. You're so inspirational. Thank oh you. Oh my being God, here. thank you. Uh, it's been a, wonderful. MJ one, MJ two on its way. Thank you. Thanks so, so much for much. being here. Thank I you, wish of you course. continued success. You look thank you. fabulous. Thank you. I'll, You're an inspiration. I'll take it. All right, uh, M, M, did I say MJ? MG. MG. MG1. MG. And MG2 is on its way.